My name is Earl. Oh, I'm Derek Sheen. My name is Mary. My name is Laura. The general vibe I get in this place is certainly creepy. Like, it certainly you walk around in some rooms and it's like there's eyes on you, even though no one's around. Yeah. I get that feeling that I'm not the only one in these rooms. Um, as far as this building, down in the junk room where we were told um, about wax dripping from the ceiling kind of thing. Yeah, I told them a bit about the uh, the art gallery that was once down there. So that so. spot really did it for me. Like, you know, how you get the feeling if your fingers go to sleep or whatever. Well, whenever I'm in an area that's quite active, I get that up the back of my head and in my head it feels like things are crawling all over me. I had that down there. We hope to capture a few things tonight. Yeah, basically this, when I turn this on, you're going to hear a lot of um, static and it's going to be scanning in FM and reverse. We, down here, we shouldn't get any radio frequency contamination at all. So, and we've gotten full phrases out of this. So we'll be asked, we only count stuff that's relevant. So if I said, you know, who's sitting in a chair and you heard a voice say Darcy come out of this, then it would be pretty relevant. Yeah. But because it does use radio frequencies, we always you know, trying to debunk everything that we get out of it. Okay. See this machine moving right here? If you go and yell through those two microphones as loud as you can, I'll be able to hear what you're saying to me. So the device that we're going to use now is called an Ovilus 5 and it's going to, it's loaded with uh, as a data bank of different words and the thought is that spirits can pick those out to communicate with us. So what we'll do is leave this right here and Darcy's going to continue doing EVP work. Is there anything that you want to say to Darcy or any of the staff here? Are you a commander in here? Portal. Portal? Yeah. No, that's other officer reached there. Did you just rub my right shoulder? I felt like a very, not a fast breeze, but a, a slow breeze go by my right shoulder. You go for a walk in a little bit and check out some of the other rooms. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, thank you for talking with us if you have. see when I look at Laura you see the stick figure yep so if something else showed up and there's no other person there then you'll know it's an energy okay <gasps> what is that I think you're seeing the green lights <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just the green lights oh, oh it just oh caught, my god it just got like a human shaped figure on there no <laughs> somebody take this <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's this? Um, this in front of this thing right here. I think it might be picking up her because it's. No, she's way over there. Oh yeah, there's something around something there. Something right then. in front of. Right here somewhere. Yeah, closer to your pod thing. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's right by your pod. Can you wave to her? It's gone. It's gone now. Kelly? It's gone away now. It? Yeah. It's just detecting her now. Yeah, so that's great. You may have seen you. Gone now. Uh, I think that, that just might be the box that is kind of tracing a box. No, it shouldn't, it shouldn't trace the box. Okay, oh, okay. So then it's right over here. Yeah, it's uh, in this general area. Like, like that here. bench right there is where to it would be. Room. It's. It looks like it's <laughs> sitting on that bench, actually. Oh, it is sitting on the bench. It's sitting on the bench right there. Can you wave to Kelly? Your name's Kelly, right? Yeah. Can you wave to Kelly? The arm's moving. I'm oh. not sure if that's counted as a wave. Is there though. a bench right there? It's there like is a, a bench. It's a classic McDonald's bench, by the way. It was the original bench from the McDonald's before it, oh, got, I see it, is. Before it got upgraded. Would it bother if I turned on my phone's flashlight to just no. see the bench? No. Okay. Yeah, because I don't... Is that really a bench? 
So that's the bench we're seeing it on right there. Oh my gosh, no way. So there's the bench and then that's what's on the tablet right there. So it's... Yeah. Where is this house? Oh, it turned off again. Just tap the screen. That's what she said, oh. it didn't work. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's gone. gone. I have an app on my phone that I'm going to run. It's called Echo Box, and it's a communication device. And normally, we don't put a lot of stock in um, apps. A lot of them. Some of them are good. Some of them are just garbage, to be honest. But this is basically loaded with um, the syllables and monosyllables of human speech. And it's going to be, it's kind of the same idea as a ghost box, but it's going to be uh, shuffled and blended together. And again, because, you know, you never really know what these sort of things with apps and stuff like that, we would only count something really credible. Yeah. So if you said your name and then introduced yourself and then a couple minutes later said, um, do you remember my name? Uh, and, it said, and it came back with your name, then that's something that we would take is really relevant. Yeah. So that's what it's going to sound like. Do you recognize anybody that's in the room with you right now? Can you tell us your name? And you also keep in mind that there's no full words programmed into this. Mm -hmm. How many spirits still are still here at the bunker? It kind of sounded like your name. Yeah. Do you recognize Darcy or I? My name's Earl. Can you say that back to me? My, my grandfather worked in the bunker in the birch. His name was Wally. He went by Sergeant Wally Brown. It's got lightheaded. Yeah. I kind of did too. Did you really? Really slightly, yeah. I kind of like felt myself go back a little bit. Yeah, and I, was I like, felt Ooh. like somebody was gently pushing my head forward. Yeah. Are you in here with us now? That was weird. That was, yeah. That was definitely a female voice or something right quick. It sounded like it said don't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, my chest is getting really tight. Do you not want to talk to us? You can feel free to touch me or shove me. We're going to be moving on shortly. You can follow us if you want. Okay, so while I was in here on two occasions, I do my business and I heard this weird kind of scratching. It was like, whoa! Usually I can tell when there's like a rhythm to it that it's mm -hmm. something in the building. Very carefully, and as it was hearing the sound, it was like these random scratching kind of noises. Almost sounded like it was coming in the walls. And I couldn't tell where. Ooh. Um, and it happened on two occasions. Like a week ago, that light right there uh, was flickering after I, started, after I walked in. And then I was like, oh, I'm sorry, and then it stopped. <laughs> really? Yeah. Closer. There's also a blue light on there. No? That's been off for a long time. 
I didn't even see the flashlight. I, I didn't even notice it came on. <gasps> yeah. We had one roll all the way. Roll. Wait, was it Dale's? <gasps> Maybe I'll turn it. Or there you go. Oh, look. It's above you. Above you. Above you. Right above you. One foot is up. Oh, oh, gosh. It's oh my gosh. It's standing on your shoulder. Yeah. Can you can you tap on Laura's head? Tap on her head. She's trying. So do you want to wave so we can just differentiate you from, yeah. Okay. Can you wave as well? You waved. Yep. No way. Yep. Shine the flashlight on me. I'm trying to angle this because it's hard when you're opposite. Oh, there, he turned it on. Good job. Awesome. Good job. You did it. Good oh job. my gosh, that's crazy. We're watching him. You're giving the camera a light show. Laura's the one sitting on the floor. Does it normally flash like that constantly? Sometimes it comes in brighter or dimmer. Just depends on the amount of energy that it has. He's just reaching over Seems to touch like, it. Yeah. Oh. I kind of think it was. Yeah. Or Towards something. the end of the night, we can, um, like we have some stuff to do upstairs too, and then we can come to a consensus. Uh, we want to do the Ouija board and where? Yeah, I know you do. I do. <laughs> I do. But when we do that, we'll have pretty much all of the equipment set up. Yeah. Maybe he wants you to do the Ouija board here. <laughs> do you want to? Well, we have it down here. Um, okay. Do you want to use? Would you like to communicate with uh, Laura and I for the Ouija board? Make it go brighter if you do. <laughs> oh my gosh! I got the biggest. <laughs> okay. So there's something in here that wants to communicate with me. Turn the flashlight on. Okay, I'm gonna turn this device on. You can speak to me through it. It'll be loud, but it won't hurt you. My face is kind of feeling okay, so warm it wasn't too. just me. Yeah. Are you affecting us? Okay. What? Like a J. Looks like a one. Yeah, either a one or a P. And then switch to the echo box so you can get your arm arrest. You messing with her arm? What was that? What was that? Was that any? Sounded like Bailey whispered. I it sounded like a female that? voice. Yeah, 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 I thought it was you. I thought it was Bailey. I thought it was. I okay, thought I heard it too. Yeah, yeah. soft female voice. Um, 